for tuning in to Let's Talk About It Media 21. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And please turn on the notification bell. That way, every time I upload a video, you'll be the first one to see it. Let's get into it. What we're going to talk about, we talk about celebrity news, celebrity gossip, what's going on on IG and Google. Fair use. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976, allowances made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comma, comments, comma, news reporting, comma, teaching, comma, scholarships, and research. Fair use is use permitted by a copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. All comments are alleged, in our opinion, and for entertainment purposes only. And don't forget, the Cash App is Let's Talk About It Media. And thank you for your love and support. So don't forget to like, to comment. But be kind. The best way to support the channel for free is to like, comment, and subscribe. Let's get to it. It's basically saying Kylie Jenner opens up about the photo editing on Instagram. Says she was always confident. <laughs> okay. Everybody, for some odd reason, I don't know why the K's and the J's is making statements. And we know that stuff is not true. We know it's not true. She sat there, told her sister she didn't want to be famous no more. She don't like being famous. She's talking about photo editing and how people are doing it so much. Y'all are basically the pros of it. So I don't know if the photo editing is bothering them because what's happening is... <laughs> you'll see them in real life and then you'll see a photo edit and you're like, well, wait a minute, who is that? <laughs> I had heard a joke that somebody had said, everybody needs to stop with this Photoshopping. Some transpire with you. The police ain't going to know really which person to look for. <laughs> so she's basically talking about whether she's had procedures done, haven't had procedures done, not a doctor, not a counselor, can't confirm, can't deny, not to shame, not to embarrass. But we know that these girls have had some stuff we don't know what it is. We, we can't call it what it is. We don't know if it's a sauna. We don't know if it's a doctor. <laughs> but we can clearly see that there's a huge change. 2012, hardly no behind. 2014, hmm, did she get it done? Then had something else done? 2015, flat is almost a board. 2019, she got a behind like she, she mixed with something. So everybody was like, girl. How can you say you haven't had anything done when your face look different, your body look different, things look different? But the biggest thing is they will always say, now remember, she was the one that said, and this is, I don't think their team, I don't think their team is really helping them. I don't think their team really, really be remembering what they be saying because we be catching lies. She has said in a video, she regrets the procedure she had done and she wishes she would have had nothing done. So now I'm gonna let y'all listen to the video. Now she's talking about people and their photoshopping. She's dragging people in their photoshopping. When y'all photoshop all the time, y'all pictures look different all the time. Y'all look different in person than y'all do on the pictures. The pictures are brushed. They have a team allegedly that helps in regards to their photos. They have a team that allegedly with the paparazzi before the photos go out, they have to approve them. And then they want to cut, allegedly, of the photos. So let's get to these clips and these pictures. So let me see where that's at so I can mark it and go to this one and do the same thing. Okay, so let's get to these clips because she's talking with her sisters and she's saying she didn't like how they used to talk about her ears. Okay, and she was telling her sisters how it made her feel. Well, the biggest thing is y'all talk about each other and y'all drag each other. A lot of times people don't have to do it. They talk about what y'all talk about. So you got Kylie concerned about her ears. And then you got Kylie concerned about her lips. And then you have Chloe concerned about her whole face and her body. And you have uh, uh, Chloe talking about her nose. If she never would have heard her mom talk about her nose, it would have been a different situation. Doing a different video. But let's focus on Kylie. So let's listen in on the sisters. Like fully 
like I just see so many young girls on the internet now, like, fully editing. Yeah. Like, the editing and the... And it's... I went through that stage, too, and I feel like I'm in a better place. But other people can instill mm-hmm. insecurities in you. We all have our little things. So it's normal to be insecure sometimes. But I always just remember being like the most confident kid in the room I always loved myself I still love myself and um one of the biggest misconceptions about me is that I was like this insecure child and I got so much surgery to change my whole face which is false I've only gotten fillers and I feel like I don't want that to be a part of my story I will always want everyone to just love them I just see so many young girls on the internet (laughs) I'm sorry she don't want that to be a part of her story. Okay, so we understand that the mom and Kim has them feeling a way about themselves, period. It almost really starts from home. They talk about Kim's ugly cry. They drag Courtney. They say Courtney's the least interesting to look at. They're dragging each other. They're shading each other. They're bullying each other. It's sad that E even put that out. It's sad that Hulu is putting out the storyline that they're putting out. Let's keep getting to it. That's how I've accumulated all of mine is from other people. Mine are not self-trust me. I had the most confidence. I was chubby and in a skin-tight body contrast. You couldn't tell me otherwise. Society gave me insecurities. No, they didn't. I've been torn apart the minute that I've gone on TV, I didn't look like my sisters, so therefore, it's not good enough. And then when I started, whatever, changing my look, you get better makeup, you do fillers, you do whatever. I had a nose job, and there's still people constantly bullying you. It's like, so which one is it? You didn't like me then. You don't like me. Like, I, you have to do things for yourself. Just love themselves. That's how I've accumulated all of mine is from other people. Mine are not self-trust me. I had the most confidence. I was chubby and in a skin-tight body contrast. You couldn't tell me otherwise. Society gave me insecurities. I've been torn apart the minute that I've gone on TV. I didn't look... That's not true. Check out old videos. Chloe used to say she used to have a hard time at school, so that's not true. And I don't understand why they lie about stuff. Check out the videos, and that's probably why they tried to have so many videos deleted, allegedly. Chloe said when she used to go to school, she hated being in school because people used to compare Kim, Chloe, and Courtney all the time. And they used to pick on her. And she said she she wanted to go to a different school so she didn't have to be compared to her sisters. So you can't blame the television. You were experiencing that beforehand. You were experiencing that beforehand. I don't know why they keep falsifying stuff. They try to normalize stuff that don't need to be changed. They try and lie about stuff that they don't need to lie about. Check out that video. She talked about being in school and how they used to bully her. She couldn't fit in Kim's and Courtney's clothes. They used to say, her sisters are so much smaller. Why are you so much taller? Why are you so much larger? Why is your hair a different color? Why is your skin a different color? Girl, let's get to the next video. You guys always talked about my ears. I love, could I talk about your ears? Because I love But I didn't think, I didn't receive it like that. I received it as like, everyone's making fun of my ears, calling me dopey. Everyone so we would call her little oh, dopey. Oh, as like a little kid. And yeah, I'm like, that f- me up. Yeah, you never think about I it. I never thought about my ears. And then yeah. for like five years, I never wore an updo. And then yeah. I had Stormy and she has my ears. Yeah. And it made me realize how much I love them. Because mm-hmm. I'm like, wow, if I'm insecure about my ears and but I'm like, cute. think my daughter is the most beautiful thing ever. Yeah. And I just, like, now I wear an updo every carpet. Yeah. We do live in a world that is obsessed with perfection. I think my mom always, like, you know, had us, like, dressing alike and being really polished and hair done. And I think I'm just really conscious. Realize how you guys always talked about my ears. I love But I talked really? about your ears because I love But them. I didn't think it. I didn't. I received it as, like, every. See, They're pushing stuff on other people and not blaming themselves. Yeah, she's telling her sisters, 
Y'all used to talk about my ears. But the biggest thing is, remember how she kept saying, oh, Stormy looks just like me. Stormy looks just like me. Okay. They're trying to normalize all the false narratives that's going out. Everybody keeps talking about the mom needs to do better. These daughters should be in healthy relationships. Yes, they're millionaires. That's a blessing. But they're not in healthy relationships. They're not in, in healthy body forming situations. It's sad. I'm not a doctor, not a counselor, but we see that there's concerns there. We see it. So that's good. She's talking to her sisters. But the biggest thing is they, the media and the press and many people were saying they utilize African-American men so their children would look different than them growing up. Now, what do you see? Let's talk about it. What do you see? You see Kim trying to date Pete outside of her race. Kanye said Kim doesn't like Caucasian guys. That's not her type. She's dated Caucasians because you got to think about it. She dated Halle Berry's man. She dated uh, Nick Lachey. So that's not true. But the biggest thing is they wanted to make sure they had children of a mixed race. Kim did. Kim had four. And then Chloe had two. And then Kylie had two. Now Kylie's trying to date Timothy. Now Chloe's trying to hook up with a guy that's an actor. He wasn't interested in her. And so now Kim is once again talking about Pete, which she should let Pete go. Let him rest. He's actually in trying to take care of himself. So let's get to the next clip them the freedom to express themselves and not put so much pressure on like perfectionism like i definitely don't want our kids to have those insecurities but i do my best at home i think the messaging is like you're good enough just the way you are you know and like owning who you are social media has been really interesting for me my friend actually hit me today who's like going through something and they're like, how do you stay so strong? And I think I've just heard every negative possible thing and rumor anyone could say about me. The more it happens, I think you just become stronger and more numb to it. And yeah, I mean, it could be a really dark, dark place sometimes. And you also have to realize, like, no matter what drama like I'm going through on social media, I have such a beautiful personal life like i have it's about giving them the freedom to ex so let's go back so why do you insult cultures wearing the noose necklace why do you insult having the astral per world party after you knew people passed i think she had she's had two astral world parties one for air her son and one for stormy allegedly people pass people call kylie kind of inconsiderate People are saying that they're trying to clean up Kylie's image. Kylie's in the media in regards to Tory Lanez, allegedly. Kylie's in the media in regards to Travis Scott. And many people are surprised that uh, the Travis Scott thing, he didn't. he's not criminally charged. And you see how the K's and the J's wanted to get rid of that as soon as possible. They did something the next day or two days later in regards to so people wouldn't talk about the Travis Scott thing. And the biggest thing is, other thing we didn't hear really about the families talking about him being not charged. You understand that? So that's all interesting in itself. I'll do a story on that later. But in regards to the Tory Lanes, in regards to the new necklace, in regards to throwing the Astro War Party, in regards to trying to allegedly shade Selena, trying to shade alleged um Megan Thee Stallion she doesn't have that great of an image she is basically allegedly called a mean girl mean girl mean woman some of y'all in the comments are so weird why do you keep talking about the noose necklace because she went out in a noose necklace so she wanted us to talk about it why do you keep talking about the KKK situation she posted it so she must have wanted to be talked about she keeps shading people Megan Thee Stallion playing Tory Lanez music that was last month so what wishes Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for supporting the channel. We don't know, like I said, the procedures they've had done, not have done, but we understand that the K's and the J's are trying to normalize stuff that we know is the truth and they're trying to normalize a lie. <laughs> but what wishes? Mothers, teach your daughters different. It's great to get a bag, but how about being open? How about being honest? How about being respected in your industry and in your field? 
How about being a good person and not shading someone, not insulting someone, not hurting someone's feelings? You know what I mean? Well wishes. Have a great day, everyone.